Odd. I had no idea. I missed a lot of shit yeah. this week. I did too. Missed a football game. Missed a- Man, people <laughs> will tell me the Grammys on. I yeah. will not watch that shit. I don't have to. I kind of have to watch the award shows so right. we can talk about it. But I, yeah. all these award shows, I like the Grammys will be mentioned the next day, and I'm like, right. that shit was on. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't even know. Well, fuck it. But yeah, yeah I was. Uh, I'm not gonna talk too much about it because we were talking about it uh, last uh, the other night, our yeah, last uh, night on uh, the uh, couple Colvins. Colvins. Yeah, okay. a couple of Colvins. Me and yeah. Carla were talking about it, but. Yeah, it was uh, those award shows, man. It's, <laughs> I kind of like them worse. in a way because you you get to see mm-hmm. actors and actresses and celebrities be yeah. real people. And when I say yeah. real people, you get to see them fuck up. <laughs> you get to see them fall yeah. on their ass yeah. without a script. They're like, hey, they're not as smart as that character they always portray <laughs> in those films. And you, those people you think are hilarious, you get to see them, them come out and bomb. Oh yeah. Oh man, and, and, and you know, and that's a, that's a sad thing. Is there's nothing worse than seeing. I guess, well, I guess you're going to mention the Sasha Baron Cohen. I mentioned it last night. Well, I'll yeah. mention it. Everybody heard it. I don't right. want to mention it too exactly. much again. But I, I, I really just, when you, when you okay, Borat. Sasha right. Baron Cohen is right. Borat. He, he's come out and he's, he's I think he's some, a genius. Yes, he's giving yes. some hilarious speeches. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look, nobody's 100%, right? No, no. Not, yeah, no. not, not at all. He's not a stand-up and, comic. And Jamie, we're not making it funny right now, 100%. Yeah. You know? No. <laughs> no, he's, he, I've never seen him do any kind of stand-up. No. I've right. seen him come out and do some impressive things. Mm-hmm. Uh, and he he did do some uh, he did a, a an acceptance speech one year, mm-hmm. and it went on a little bit long. Right, but uh, you could tell when somebody's been told that they're great. Oh yeah, when, when and they many and, times. yeah, and they come out yeah. and they they have material that is not all that right. great, but they think it's great because hey, right. you know, I'm I, I'm Sasha Baron Cohen. I right? had that problem with Jim Carrey when he was on all those award shows and he was coming out in his costumes, and I was just like, dude, just yeah, just please, you you're, you're annoying me now. You know? Yeah, <laughs> people. I, this is where I think award shows should be: mm-hmm. either get up there, have be be down to earth, and say mm-hmm. some funny things right. like a person, not right. like trying to do some stand up. Right. And then and then just uh, or, or have somebody write something for you. Right. Otherwise, just get the fuck on off. Exactly. I mean, now I tell you what, I did see uh, the clip of Tracy Morgan. I thought that was pretty damn. Funny. Okay, Tracy Morgan's yeah. always <laughs> probably gonna be funny. <laughs> yes. What what did Tracy Morgan do? Oh, he went up there and he was like, he was like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm laughing already. He basically, I, I, I'm going to butcher his material because I only heard it once. But he he mentioned that uh, he talked to uh, uh, the girl uh, from Thirty Rock, oh, uh, the, oh, the main oh, girl. Oh, uh, yeah, you, uh, yeah. See, Jesus, I told you. Jesus. But anyway, he said he said uh, they had a deal where if uh, if Obama wins, that he he be allowed to to make all the speeches. Tina Fey. Tina Fey. Yeah, yeah. he he be allowed to do to do all the speeches and. Uh, he was like, he was like, yes, this is post racist America right here. He's like, you hear that, Kate Blanchett? Post racist America exactly. right and here. He went on, yeah, I'm not even gonna try to imitate him, but yeah, he's like, yeah, what's up, America? What's up, America? He's like, I like to thank the catering, the craft services, you know, because they make some badass food and because y'all make some good food. <laughs> yeah, he's just was naming all, but just his, you know, just his presence and how he. He just looks like he's a drunk up there, and which is funny. Enough, <laughs> now, did he make but, uh, a fool out of himself, or was he really funny? Uh, he was funny. He was okay. actually funny. He, did people laugh. He, he always like draws that line where he could he could go over and start just looking like an idiot, but he could care less. He's in his own world, and I think that's what makes it, a lot of his shit work all the time. Yeah, uh, that's why I'm a fan. He could care less what any. Now there, there's a guy. Who can give two fucks about what you think about his comedy? Oh, I've seen him on and, interviews, and he mm-hmm. just he'll just stop he, in the middle of an interview, like <laughs> like he, he was talking to one guy because somebody put the clip up on my page, and he yeah. was talking to the one, uh, he was on some show, and he's talking mm-hmm. to this guy, and he's like, "Yeah, Thirty Rock, uh, the, oh, look at me, I'm, <laughs> I'm handsome. <laughs> turn that turn that camera around on me right there. I'm a, I look good, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and see, and that uh, that guy, he, he could be insane for all we know. He could be like a raging <laughs> lunatic." Like nobody knows, and and that's what that's what makes him fucking hilarious. And I love, it. yeah, he's in his own world, and I love watching it. I love watching the chaos. Oh yeah, um, no, but it, uh, no, he he went up there, and then he was just going off, and and he was he was doing his thing, and he was hilarious. doing his thing, yeah, exactly. Yeah. He was just doing his thing, could care less, and, and that's boom. brilliant. It yeah. is, it is. And see, that's the difference between somebody like him and somebody like Sasha Baron Cohen. Sha- Sasha, B- now. I don't know the guy. He mm-hmm. might have, he might have been as sincere yeah. as a fucking undriven snow out there, or whatever they say, <laughs> yeah. you know. But he went out there uh-huh. and he had this look on his face, like mm-hmm. I'm Sasha Baron Cohen. Everything uh-huh. I say is going to be funny. And okay. he came out. See, he kinda, yeah, okay, he now you telling me that that almost makes me wonder. And I and I'm not trying to say this is what he was. This is what he was doing. But maybe he went. <laughs> I hope to God, if you're saying he's as bad as he seemed to be, that he went out there intentionally trying to be bad. You know, 
No, like, he did not. Like, like no, some kind he, of stick or something. Okay. No, because he kind of okay. came out. Like I said, he told. Uh, for those of you who, who didn't hear mm-hmm. uh, the cold ones, I'll just repeat what I heard here. If you heard it already, fuck you. I'm gonna say it again. Mm-hmm. So he so he comes out now early in the in the night. Sandra mm-hmm. Bullock comes out yeah. and she says, uh, "What was it? Oh, uh, she's talking about Last Chance Harvey." Yeah. And it has Dustin Hoffman and Emma Emma Thompson in it. Okay, and she, and she says uh, a movie about a man who falls for a woman decades younger than he is, uh, just like most people in this room. Uh, and, and I'm already cringing because yeah, fucking now, Sandra Bullock is saying it that, gets yeah. it gets a chuckle. Stop. Now Sandra Bullock can kind of get away with it because Sandra Bullock she comes out and she says really? in a way that's what well, the way she comes I out. Don't she's, think so. She kind of <laughs> comes out. And she says in a way that's kind of like. Eh, you know that that that, yeah. that girl next door kind of thing. That, that I'm works tired for her. of that. Uh, yeah. Everybody, but for her, it worked because okay. she did not. She didn't see. It didn't seem rehearsed too okay. much. It seemed like okay. I'm I, I, whatever. Right. Um, now, and, and by the way, I know Emma Thompson was decade younger than Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> really? I thought those fuckers were kind of the same age. Yikes. I don't know. I sorry, Emma Thompson. I think you pretty and everything, well, but I, think, I, I didn't. I think uh, Dustin Hoffman clones himself or something. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the guy. The guy should not. I mean, he was he was old when he did the graduate for crying out loud. <laughs> that guy, yeah. Dustin Hoffman, is a guy that's really never been young. If you look no, at not him. at all. No, he's his, his career started super late for an actor. I mean, I, I, especially I, for the roles he was getting at the time. Yeah, I know. Started. I know. In the in the graduate, he has less wrinkles or what. But mm-hmm. he, <laughs> if something about him, he still looked like a, a wise old man or something. So, <laughs> you know, if I want to ask him some questions about life, he'd be able to answer them. Right. So, uh, so then now a few minutes later, Sasha Baron Cohen comes out mm-hmm. and he's and he says. Benjamin Button, oh. a movie about an old man with a young face. Yeah. Oh. Just like most people in this room. I was like, okay, that's just been done already. Yeah, he's, all right. He's straight yeah, on he, the same joke. Yeah, okay. And, so and, I, and you know what? That's scary because you think that's going to be the fucking running joke throughout the entire show. Exactly. I said, how many <laughs> other people come out with this shit? I mean, yeah. at this point, if you got this on a piece of paper, you ball that shit up and just like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, you know, know, throw that shit to the side. Hearing Sandra Bullock, they would go, fuck. You know? <laughs> <laughs> that goes yeah. my comedy. But you're going to bitch about it? Sasha no. Baron Cohen on the hand was kind of like, <laughs> It's my joke too, and I can make it funnier. <laughs> yeah. You know, so he comes uh, out, and then he tells, and he and, and uh, he comes out, and then he tells his joke, and he kind of flubs his line a little bit because he repeats a word twice, and uh, so and then what, what was that joke? It says, uh, "Oh yeah," uh, and our condolences go uh, go out to Madonna who had to fire several of her personal assistants. Yeah. We feel for you, yeah. Guy Ritchie. Yeah. And it's like, due, due, and th- due to the economy. That's, that's, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. so, the economy is hitting everyone. Yeah, I saw that clip. Now, and, this yeah. is a room of celebrities. So I could give a fuck mm-hmm. what they think, but right. you could t- look, these celebrities ain't kissing your ass because and, 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 they were Because look, nobody really they gives a fun. shit about <laughs> Madonna that much. I, no. I, let's just say nobody really cares about Guy no. Ritchie. I mean, no. I'm not saying, maybe they do. Maybe mm-hmm. all these people are friends with Madonna. I just can't yeah. see them like wanting to defend Madonna that bad. But that you they're know not what? laughing at Sasha Baron Cohen. The funny thing is that the first time I was ever aware of Sasha Baron Cohen, um, he he was p- doing his uh, Ollie G character. Yeah, yeah, He did it on a European MTV Music Awards one time. I can't remember. It could have been like 2000, the, the MTV European 2000 Awards. And I had no fucking idea who this guy was, but I'm like, man, this guy's like really trying hard to be funny. And I just didn't get it. I was like, who is this fucking guy? Why does he think he's funny? And then le- years later, you realize that it was all an act. Yeah, and that, exactly. And that he's playing a character. Okay. And, and, but the thing is that I think uh, Madonna had a big uh, a big part in jump starting his career. Yeah, he was in that so. video of hers. Mm-hmm. It was like that techno video, right? right. And he played the limo driver. So I, yeah, so maybe right. yeah, no, maybe. no. So you could tell there's some kind of yeah. He he's, he may have been written that for her for her, you know, for whatever. I, he's probably yeah. close with it. Probably yeah, would not. Probably. Th- that's what I'm saying. I don't think yeah. anybody was not laughing right. to defend Madonna. Right. I'm not saying they hate her or anything. I'm right. just saying you can look at people and saying they kept cutting a uh, Selma Hayek. Cause I think Why, she was she laughing at everything. No, she no, she oh. was looking at him like really. She had this look on her face like nigga, please. <laughs> you know, she was looking at him like yeah. like she was looking at him like what are you doing? Uh. Like, and then it cut to other people who were just kind of like shaking their head like okay, you know what yeah, MTV good. has okay that's the one thing I will give the MTV awards about any kind of awards they have like if, if somebody's getting ripped into they will always cut that camera. To somebody who's sitting in the audience getting ripped on <laughs> with the most like disappointing look on their face, and, and I'm just like, why do people come to these shows? You know, if they're gonna, if you're gonna get ripped on, you better fucking watch out because they're gonna get that camera right in your fucking face, 
and you're going to look like somebody just took a shit on your mother on stage. <laughs> like, uh. I know. You better be ready to do something. Because I'm thinking about that time Eminem came out talking shit oh, no. about Moby. Yeah. Uh-huh. You yeah. remember that Moby was just sitting in the and just looking at him? Oh, yeah. And, and I was thinking... Okay, first of all, who the fuck is Eminem? Yeah. Eminem, mean, little white dude, you know yeah. what I mean? He's trying to, he's trying to act bad, but uh-huh. I can tell you, I know about 50 people who could whoop Eminem. Yeah. Pick him up and throw him through a window. Right. I mean, talk Eminem, is cheap. Talk is, yeah, exactly. I mean, you, you, just because you hide behind Dre and a bunch of black people don't right. mean you don't can't mean nobody come up and exactly. choke your ass, you know? Exactly. Eminem, I'm sorry, Eminem is not threatening. No. And so, you I know, he, he's especially not threatening, threatening when he feels threatened by a talking dog puppet. <laughs> yeah, he got mad. He at got him. super mad at, 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 at Triumph. At Triumph. <laughs> and I was like, "Really, Eminem?" I was like, I, I, "I appreciate your music, but dude, you're getting mad at a fucking puppet right now. Really? Wow. Are you sure? Are you sure you want to look back on this? You're gonna go, yeah, kids. Uh, I almost got into a fucking fight with, with, a, with a goddamn puppet. puppet. The goddamn puppet." But with a, with they, a big fucking yeah. cigar in his mouth. But I think they made up later. I think they called it truce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like East Coast, West Coast shit going yeah. on. I think hopefully, they made a truce. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully he looked at that video and just yeah. said, all right, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> fuck. I, I better get my priorities straight. Said, yeah. God damn, that's a latex puppet I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, he's about to fight. He's staring down a puppet. It's not even a, yeah, it's not even a human puppet. It's, no. a, it's a dog puppet. <laughs> there's a guy. You can say, imagine there's a guy with an arm just laughing because Eminem's not looking at him. He's looking at the fucking dog puppet. Give me them trying to act too tough to like, yeah. nah, man. Uh-uh, nah, man. Don't fucking, don't be looking at me like that, Yeah, dog. get off don't, me, man. Don't look, at, don't look at me like that, dog. <laughs> <laughs> fucking puppet. Yeah. Man, fuck, get away from me, man. Come on. Look at me. And I kid, I kid. <laughs> oh, man, I ain't kidding with you. Go on somewhere. <laughs> Come on. Your rapper who wants to talk about fucking his mother. I kid. <laughs> I just wanted to see him strangle that puppet. Hey, yeah. like, not, even, not even go after the oh, guy. Yeah. Like he puts yeah. his arms around the puppet neck. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Exactly. <laughs> going over, going over chairs like like fucking knocking off, <laughs> knocking off Christina Aguilar, Aguilar's makeup off. And, yeah, knocking a wig fight, off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's, so that's what I'm saying, man. You know, you you know audience and shit. Right. You can read if you if you bombing. I uh-huh. mean, if you had a place where every Everybody wants to kiss your ass mm-hmm. because people chuckle at some of the lamest shit. Mm-hmm. You ain't going over too well. <laughs> no. I mean, you, they actually cut to the motherfuckers. I forgot they cut to somebody who they were kind of shaking their head like, I, I don't, I'm, <laughs> I don't, I don't, get, I don't get this. <laughs> yeah, it's like why? You know? So yeah, I mean that's what I'm saying. Don't come out there with your material. Right, you know, it's exactly. Like, it's yeah. like the comedy exactly. show. Exactly. Isn't that time to test out your shit? Yeah, especially exactly. if you're not a comic. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now, where was Leon out there? I know, right? <laughs> Tell that's some jokes. Need. Yeah. <laughs> Tell some jokes, you bastard. Now, that's one time yeah. I would have said, Leon, please. And the audience would have been like, yeah, yeah, motherfucker, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, man. I, yeah, look, wait, the, uh, I hate all these uh, kind of award shows. Mm-hmm. Now, if they gave me an award, mm-hmm. I would be all up in the ass. What I'd be on stage Why would they give you and, an award, Corey? What'd you do? You never know what I got <laughs> up my sleeve. I got a award. My, if they ever gave me my internet award. Exactly. When, they, when the Academy Awards get a award for best, <laughs> best podcast between a, a black man and a robot, robot. <laughs> we, will, we will be up there. You'll be crying. I'll be crying. i like to thank the Academy. Yeah. i like to thank my producer, Jamie. I'm not going to thank God because he had nothing to do with it. Exactly. This. It's all me. Got <laughs> yes. nobody to thank but myself. Fuck y'all. Good night. Yeah. <laughs> be like three six mafia up there. No, I'm I'm going to call up Tracy Morgan to the stage to so get, he can so he can give out the speech. Except yes. on behalf yes, of uh, Tracy uh, Morgan. Let's do this. Yeah, Tracy, yeah let's do this. The fucking robot up here, <laughs> up in here. A uh, man and machine doing shit. <laughs> oh my god, I look pretty. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, man. All right. So Ooh. what what else we got? Uh, what else do we got? Um, some things. Damn. Why? Well, well, apparently you're leaving, right? I I am. I heard. I, I, I heard. Oh, a did you? Bit. Okay. I, I heard yeah. half of the show today. The couple of cool ones. But I guess I should say. Yeah. You, you I, are leaving to I, to I'm, cans. I'm no get cans. <laughs> like cans. Or the I'm going to Academy Festival. Awards. You are. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to the Golden Globes. Are they done already? <laughs> going to the Nickelodeon Awards. Where are you going? Boy? Are you going to get slimed on? <laughs> you lucky bastard. <laughs> I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to the uh, National Association of Janitors Awards. There you go. <laughs> Give my shit out. Uh, but no, uh, I'm going to Sundance. 